I hate pulling rivets by hand and this little Milwaukee M12 rivet gun has served me well for the past year or two and yeah it's a great little unit I love it it's um, probably my favorite Milwaukee tool to be honest but what happens if you want to pull a bigger rivet than a 4.8 millimeter or 3 sixteenths of an inch well you're gonna need a bigger rivet tool because this doesn't have the guts to do it this pulls at around 9 kilonewtons of force that's um, sort of equivalent of like around 900 kgs of pulling force and that's just not enough to set large rivets so if you want to do quarter inch rivets you're gonna need a tool like this which as you can see is much larger this is the Milwaukee M18 version of a rivet gun and yes if you're watching from America this is a genuine battery your batteries look like that and the rest of the world they look like that this is the M18 FPRT-0 that's fuel pop rivet tool nice and easy in this part of the world in the states it is the and this tool starts at 3 sixteenths of an inch or 4.8 millimeters and goes up to wait for it 7.14 millimeters or 932 930 seconds oh man I hate inches <laughs> some bits of an inch I've actually never seen a rivet that big but this does of course also do quarter inch rivets which is basically what this video is about I'm about to show you three quarter inch rivet tools this one does however only start at 4.8 so if you want to do a 2.4 millimeter or 3 millimeter something like that you're gonna have to get the M12 and I can't find any information to see if you can change it so that you can put a smaller end on here to get the smaller rivets you may be able to but I couldn't find any but in this video we're basically just going to look at pulling quarter inch or 6.4 millimeter rivets but we're going to have more than just Milwaukee in the video let's see who else we're putting in this comparison we're also going to take a look at the Bosch Professional Blue GRG 18 volt 16 C quarter inch rivet tool and we've also got the Makita DRV 250 quarter inch or 6.4 millimeter rivet tool and if we've got time we'll quickly take a look at the 4.8 millimeter or 3 sixteenths of an inch version as well so let's look at what is the same and what is different between all of these tools and which one is going to be the best suited to you right let's look at some numbers if you're using one of these sort of tools all day every day weight is going to be an important issue you're not going to want to lug around a super heavy tool if you don't have to so when it comes to weight there is a clear winner out of these three and it is the Bosch coming in beer tool at only 1.6 kgs the Makita 2.1 the Milwaukee 2.13 so the Makita and the Milwaukee basically the same the Bosch half a kg lighter than these two although it doesn't feel it now those weights I just gave you were the weights on the websites by these three companies but I picked up the Makita and I thought it's not that heavy it's definitely not as heavy as the Milwaukee so I've just weighed them myself and sure enough Bosch 1.6 the Milwaukee 2.15 and the Makita only 1.7 so it's only just heavier than the Bosch so the Milwaukee significantly heavier as you can see by looking at it it is a significantly sturdier chunkier looking beast it has this extra sort of hand protection bit at the front it's got this big steel looking bit at the front it looks a much meatier tool but what other numbers have we got looking at the stroke of each tool the Makita 30 millimeters the Milwaukee 30 millimeters and the Bosch only 25 so you can get a bigger pull with the other two more likely to get your rivet done in one pull of the trigger instead of perhaps having to reset and do a second pull we'll see that when we get to the testing of the tools by comparison the smaller Makita also a 25 millimeter stroke and the Milwaukee M12 is a 20 millimeter stroke so it's got the shorter stroke and the Milwaukee M12 of course also has the least amount of pulling strength with only the 9 kilonewtons the smaller Makita 10 kilonewtons the big Makita and the big Milwaukee we've got 20 kilonewtons on both of those and the Bosch is only 16 
So it is the lowest of these quarter inch rivet tools. Is that going to cause a problem? 20 kilonewtons basically means there's 2,000 kgs, just over 2,000 kgs of force on each of these pulling on your blind rivet. If you want that in pounds, it's about 4,400 pounds to pull your rivet. All three of these tools have a method of retaining the rivet, so when you poke the rivet in, it doesn't fall out, makes it much easier. Basically, these have just got a small ball bearing. And when it comes to the size of these, well, we've got some differences once again. So these two start at 4.8, and the Makita goes up to 6.4, the Milwaukee goes up to 7.14. The Bosch starts lower, which is nice, starts at 3 millimeters. Pretty, they couldn't quite get it down to 2.4, but 3 is certainly much better than what these two are doing. So you can get that at 3, and it'll go up to 6.4. The Makita does, however, if you buy the extra parts that would come with the other DRV150, if you buy the nozzles that come with this and the, and the different pull rods, then you can use this tool to do the entire range. And I'm not sure if you can with the Bosch or the Milwaukee. The difference then between this tool and the DRV150 is I do believe this one is a little bit slower at pulling so that it doesn't you know, snap your rivets at the wrong time or put undue pressure on the tool. So the 4.8 will go faster than this, but this one can apply a lot more force to your rivets. So if you're doing small rivets all the time, you want it done quick, then you go with the 150. If you are gonna do small ones occasionally, but you're doing big ones most of the time, then you're better off going with this. When it comes to changing the sizes of the tips here, you can use the tools that are on the Milwaukee or the Bosch at the back of the Bosch, just undo the tip, change them out, or you can undo the whole nose area. And like the Milwaukee one here is designed, you put it in there and you can turn the, take the tip off. The Makita, however, is very different. It looks basically the same, but when you come to change for the Makita, you have to change the plunge rod on a lot of the different sizes, which is, of course, a lot more annoying because you have to store those somewhere and not damage them and all that sort of stuff and there is no storage on the Makita tool. The Makita was the first one by a country mile out of these three tools to be released and I think Makita's plan was these were more production line tools. If you've seen some of my videos where I've talked about production line tools I'll stick one up here. They're very basic looking see there's no TPE over molding there's no extraneous parts to catch on anything they're just built simple and solid the screws are put into nuts on the other side they're not put directly into plastic like I'm guessing the other two tools on this bench are so they're, they're built to last they're built tough and they're built to be set once and left alone and just be on a production line just bang 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 doing the same thing over and over again they weren't sort of designed to be used by DIY guys or home gamers or even just casual construction-y stuff. So they're, they're different. They're tougher. They are very expensive. Um, all these tools are actually expensive, but the Makita one when they came out, very expensive. But that's why they're like that, because they weren't designed for everyday use by your average Joe who walks into a hardware store. This is made in Japan as well, not made in China like a lot of Makita stuff is these days. So it's it's built for a different purpose potentially than the ones in the background. And so maybe needs an upgrade to make it a little bit easier to deal with like the other two. Because the other two have all the parts you need attached on the tool. There's nothing else anywhere else. We've got the, got the three extra fittings there screw into the top of the Bosch. It's got a little hook to hang it up. It's got the tool storage in the back. It comes with a belt clip. The Makita does come with a belt clip as well. And it's got a couple of buttons down here because this one has Bluetooth, as does this one. Now, there was no Bluetooth stuff around when the Makita one came out. Um, but Bluetooth becoming very popular these days in the last couple of years in tools. So this Milwaukee has one key. So you can keep track of where this tool is. Um, and if it gets whipped off your site, you can actually disable it as well as a few other things. I'm not going to go into all that in this video. 
but the Milwaukee, just like the Bosch, has the extra pieces all screwing in the side there. You've got the little spanner that clips in the front there, and you've got the hang-up hook on the top, like the Bosch as well. All stuff that the Makita doesn't have. All three of them catch the spent mandrels from your rivet. They are all clear. The Makita one's clear, just black on the end, and the Milwaukee one's black and clear on the end. So they're all easy to see and remove and take off and empty out. They're all basically the same in that regard. Right, let's pull some quarter inch rivets. First of all, let's just see how they stick in there. So that the Bosch and the Milwaukee, they won't fall out, but they're loose-ish compared to the Makita, which is much, much tighter. But as long as they don't fall out, that's the main thing. And but I don't know how long those would last before they perhaps got a little bit too loose. First up, let's just see how well they pop without actually putting them in anything, eh? Now, I've done that test quite a few times, and the only one every time that broke it off on that test was the Milwaukee. The rivets I'm using are 6.4 millimeters by 25 millimeters long or quarter of an inch by one inch long. I have this board here to test out the rivets in. It has the perfect size holes already drilled. So I'll just fill them all up with rivets and we'll do some testing, see how long it takes to um, fill this board up. You can do one panel per rivet gun, what do you reckon? At real speed? Who wants to see that? It'll only be a three or four hour video. My intention is to fill this board with tool batteries and chargers via the um, stealth mounts. Now, I've just attached this first one with the Milwaukee River gun. It worked perfectly. I had to drill a slightly bigger hole in the stealth mount to accommodate the rivet, but it works pretty good and it's held it pretty good, but might not be quite strong enough for the um, 8 amp hour batteries. But unfortunately, the other holes don't line up, so I'm going to have to drill another hole through there if I want to go any further but I think we'll just place them all with one first all the way along here these are the Makita 40 volt stealth mounts and yeah we'll try out the rivet guns and accomplish something at the same time Those two Bosch rivets were put in with the tool with the auto off. I'm now going to turn the auto on, see if it makes any difference. Before I get too carried away, I guess I better go count up how many 40 volt batteries I actually have. No point covering this thing in plastic if I don't need to. Well, they um. <laughs> They add up quite quick. Um, you don't sort of realise how many you've got until you stick them all together like that and then go, whoa, that's a lot of money spent on batteries and I've got some more fours on the way at the moment, so I might have to order some more stealth mounts. I'll go see how many I've got. Next up I want to see how they fare popping rivets that are completely surrounded in nylon. First up, let's go the Bosch, but we'll turn the auto mode off. How do you think this will do? Should break pretty quick, right? Indeed it did. Next up, Milwaukee.
broke pretty quick. And Makita. No problem for any of the tools, as you would expect. Time to rivet some rubbish. This is measuring seven millimeters thick on my calipers, but I'm guessing it's a quarter of an inch and the rest is rust. We've got a couple of half mil sheets of tin here and a bit of swarf and stuff stuck between. We'll see how well these can pull up. First up, the Milwaukee. Bosch is up next. Makita! There you go, three popped rivets. The Makita is the thinnest, the Milwaukee is the longest, and the Bosch is the fattest. Now I will show you the auto mode on the Bosch. This is the Makita. What happens if I just tap the trigger? Not a lot. Pulls it in a tiny little bit. What about the Milwaukee? Exactly the same, just gives it a little pull, makes it look slightly dodgy. And the Bosch, what happens when I tap the trigger on the Bosch? Goes through the whole motion. Now that would have snapped off had it been inside anything. Woo, that's hot. Yikes, amazing how hot that gets so fast. Um, so yeah, the auto function I'm finding quite handy and um, I'm liking it. I'm preferring the Bosch to the other two at the moment. Anyway, I'm going to actually go and use this for a few things and see, yeah, if I do stick with the Bosch. Speed test, the 150 on the left, the 250 on the right, 4.8, 6.4. So is this tool, does it fire off quicker? Unfortunately, this is only 20 millimeters long, whereas this is 25. Let's see what happens. Three, two, one. <laughs> As you saw, the 150 is much quicker than the 250. So if you need speed and small rivets, go for this one. This one will do the small rivets, but gonna be a lot slower. Right, I think it's about time to wrap up the rivet gun or riveter video, pop rivet tools, whatever you want to call them. The Milwaukee, the Makita, the Bosch, which is best? Well, there's a few other things I need to tell you. If you want to know where they're made, made in China, made in China, made in Japan. Um, when it comes to quarter inch rivets, there is a caveat with the Makita. It says in the instructions, not quarter inch for stainless so quarter inch for aluminium rivets which is what you saw me using throughout the video um, I don't have any quarter inch stainless ones to test unfortunately Milwaukee says it's all good for stainless quarter inch and the Bosch one there was no information either way in the instructions so I guess it's okay who knows doesn't say not to do it so if there was an issue they would say not to do it presumably now all three of these tools are good tools they all get the job done if you're pulling a rivet they pull rivets you know that's they all do it um, if I was gonna use one every single day and never ever change the size is just my job was to just fire in rivets all the same size all day long then I would go for the Makita for sure it's just the nicest one to hold it's nice and slim but if you are someone who does lots of different tasks more like myself then this isn't so good because it's not user friendly when it comes to changing out the ends for changing your different sizes. 
it is better in that it has specialized parts for every single size of rivet so everything is made to fit much better but you need to pull this whole thing apart take out the rod and everything and it's just no one here is user friendly is just unscrewing the end of this and bunging in a new one um, plus you've got to keep all those bits somewhere so like I say if you were only ever going to use it for one thing then the Makita is the way to go because nothing to fall off nothing you know to catch nice streamlined tool gets the job done but I imagine for most of you watching that isn't what you would want one of these things for so then you've got these two left the Milwaukee does bigger rivets than the other two that I've shown you so if you happen to use the big ones the 7.14 millimeter or 932s <laughs> of an inch 930 seconds of an inch um, then well you'd have to go for that one because it's the only one that doesn't but it is much heavier than the other two you do notice it especially if you've got a ridiculous battery like that on it um, you of course don't really need to put a big battery on a tool like this because it ain't going to help you much um, unless of course you want to build up your arm muscles but it's a good tool it's got the power this one clearly has the most power um, you know if it can do stainless up to these big sizes then it's the stronger tool longevity wise well who knows I haven't got time to put thousands and thousands of rivets through these things to find out so then the Bosch the Bosch probably has the nicest features shall we say um, it's got the auto mode which I like um, I was using that quite a lot um, you can set that jaw checking thing it's got maintenance stuff on it um, these are all in a nice place it's easy it goes down to three which the other ones don't the other two only go down to 4.8 so three is something I would use quite a lot of um, so that's handy so it actually, it's actually got a 3.2 a 4 a 5 and a 6.4 the range of rivets that you can use with the Bosch is more user friendly for me um, yeah and weight wise this is so much nicer and more comfortable to hold than the Milwaukee the Bosch has the slimmest nose here for getting into tight spots which is handy and has already served me well because I couldn't get into one of the spots with this one and it also the mandrels seem to make their way to the back a bit better than the Milwaukee and the Makita I do however wish this had the longer stroke that the other two here have the 30 mil because the 25 it's a bit short sometimes it doesn't snap the mandrels off very well um, and you have to do the second pull but a lot of that might just be down to somebody using rivets that are just way too long for some of the applications he was using them for so if I had to only pick one it would probably be the Bosch so there you go some of you are not going to agree some of you might agree whatever let me know down below so that being my favorite next week I will put it up against the Ryobi long nose rivet gun hey eh? we'll put it up against that cheers for watching guys see you all same time next week have a good one tools out if you want to see which one I use the most this is the Milwaukee haven't been using that one much the Makita looks pretty similar and the Bosch there we go there's your answer right there